All right, Paul, that's pretty neat. So someone on Earth probably got a little flash of light in their eye, Cherenkov radiation as we call it, when one of the neutrinos from supernova 1987A went through and interacted with, the, with their sclera, with the stuff in their eye, and they saw a little flash of light. But they probably, no one reported this, and you probably good chance are asleep or uh, just one flash went top of looking around you wouldn't be noticed. So it'd be nice to have a better way to actually measure these neutrinos. Maybe we don't need billions of eyeballs. Maybe we should just have one very large tank of water. Well, fortunately, it turns out that uh, physicists had foreseen that they needed big tanks of water to look at neutrinos, specifically to understand why there weren't as many neutrinos coming out of the sun as we expected. And so there were some big tanks of water, the largest of which is known as Super Kamiokande 2 in a uh, mine in Japan. And it's this huge underground tank of water. And it's underground so that nothing else can get through. So all the other particles and uh, things of nature can't uh, go through and interact, only things that weakly interact. And in this big tank of water, there are these big photo multiplier tubes that are very sensitive to light. And what you can't, well, you can see how big these things are. I think uh, I have two people here as the water's being floated up. So these are giant balls about that big. This thing is one of the biggest machines that we've made on Earth. And so this is like all of humanity's eyeballs. And it was operating in 1987 on February 23rd, uh, the day before the supernova 1987A was discovered. And when they went through and looked at their uh, results, they saw that there were 12 flashes of light in a very short period of about 15 seconds a day before the supernova was discovered. And that, we think, is the creation of the neutron star associated with supernova 1987A. There was also a detector in uh, South Dakota of the United States that also detected eight events. So, confirmation. Yeah, it's an interesting aside. Uh, there's also a lot of bragging rights in astronomy about how many photons you need to publish a paper. Um, and uh, this gravity waves would win because they've got thousands of papers and no detection of anything yet. Uh, but in this case, we've got uh, 12 neutrinos and another eight. And how many papers would you say have been published based on those? Oh, uh, hundreds, hundreds. This is really the mainstay of my, of my field, understanding how these neutron stars uh, are formed and how supernovae explode. Now, we have all these neutrinos, and as we've seen in our calculation, these neutrinos are able to interact inside the centers of these massive stars near the neutron star. So life is complicated. You need to actually do a big model to see what things look like. So let's look at what one of these calculations look like, where we've got gravity coming in and neutrinos, and they interact and form this big ball of stuff that wobbles around, but doesn't seem to explode. Mm, I didn't see an explosion there. I saw a lot of violence and chaos and turbulence, but nothing went out. Yeah, so this turns out to be one of the hardest calculations we attempt as scientists, where you have to have all this material coming in using general relativity. Things are very, very hot, and they're in states that we don't understand very well on Earth, because we can't make things this hot on Earth. And you have neutrinos whose properties aren't that well understood because so they go to measure. through everything, right? And so when we put the, all, all the stuff together, we get something that almost explodes. Turns out occasionally explodes when you have a very small star that doesn't have um, much uh, you know, uh, potential energy compared to a great big star. That bounce does seem to get things far enough away that the neutrinos can take over and the energy the neutrinos deposit is enough to blow those things up. But that's only a few stars out of many attempts that explode. So we seem to have a problem. 